Hello again. Um, before I get to talking about what I was going to talk about uh, in the main part of this video, I'd like to show you uh, a part of my text class that I wrote out last time uh, where I kind of messed up. I wrote in an annotation in the spot where, uh, in, in the issue area, but I'd still like to talk about it verbally to really get the point across. So here, uh, in our assignment operator, our equals operator, which is called and we have like or name two equals name like that um, our assignment operator gets called um, the trouble with this is that um, if we had this already equal to something like Mario or whatever um, and then when we do this reassignment we're actually never deleting uh, this array Mario we just have our pointer point to a new dynamically allocated array. So this data never gets uh, deallocated, which is uh, obviously not what we want because it's going to produce a memory leak in our program. Um, so the way to fix this is to do something like if the str does not equal null, so unless it does, uh, then we just want to delete str. And that's about all you have to do to get rid of that memory leak. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a little issue that I forgot to fix uh, when I was recording the main video, and uh, I just realized uh, when I was rewatching. Um, okay, so on to what I was actually going to talk about in this video, which is to show you that uh, everything we did in the last video was for no good reason, except for learning purposes. <laughs> um, basically, there's something called the STL, which is the standard template library, and it's a part of C++. Um, and I haven't talked about what templates are yet, but you don't need to know what they are um, until, or at least you don't need to know what they are for this video, so don't worry about them. But um, basically, it's a set of classes that you can use in your programs that are written by more experienced programmers than me. They are optimized better than anything that I would write, and um, they're very less prone to, well, they're like well-tested and thoroughly, uh, you know, used in the industry. So one of the classes that are built into the STL or uh, into the C++ standard template library is the string class. Um, so let's, let's take a look at that. This is basically very similar to our text class that we made in the last video except uh, this one won't have a memory leak and uh, you can actually do a lot more with these um, because they have even more functionality built in and I'm pretty sure they're more efficient as well um, but you know I wanted to show you kind of a little bit of the behind the scenes um, before we actually started using strings but from now on you'll see me using strings instead of my little text class because uh, they are more efficient so you can make a string just like we were making our uh, text. Uh, it's very similar like that. Um, that's about it. I mean, you can do stuff like Mario and and then concatenate them with the plus operator. That's still the same. Um, you can see out them. You can see in to get input with them, like that if you wanted, um, though most people suggest that you don't do that, and instead, um, let's see, I think you go like, you, there's this get line function, and you go, I think cn is the first argument, and then comes your string, I should probably, let's see, let's, let's give that a shot. Well, it's also, but yeah, you see, it's very easy to. It's one of those classes that kind of fits seamlessly with the rest of C plus plus. But you do got to keep in mind that it was, um, it is just a class. And it's not too far off from what we made in our uh, text class, though I think it is implemented kind of differently. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, I guess it doesn't like me to... 
Oh, yeah, I kind of have to typecast one of these to a string for this to make sense. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah, so use the get line function with C in as the first argument and then your string as the second argument when you get uh, input with um, with strings, which is pretty, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what else can you do? Oh, also, we never built this functionality into our um, text class, um, but, you, but we could have. Uh, what we could have done is... Um, you can go like team and then you can use the bracket operators as if it was a character array to kind of modify any of um any of the characters so you could change the first character to a uh i don't know an n <laughs> nario i don't know or make sure you use single quotes because it's a character array and um so now we'll have nario and luigi yeah you see how we can uh, alter characters using the bracket notation. Um, you can also, if you wanted to use, like, for instance, let's say we had a string which was like uh, 1,054 or something, uh, and we wanted to get an integer equivalent, uh, we can't call a2i with name um, because a uh, name is a string, and a2y takes a uh, constant character pointer as its argument. So what we need to do for that is we call the dot c underscore str uh, method, uh, and what that is, this stands for c string, and it returns the equivalent character pointer of this string. And so then that gets fed into a2y, and then we get the proper integer. So now you'll see we get 10, 1054, which we could multiply by 2 if we wanted, uh, and then we get 2108. So um, that's how you do that with strings. Um, let's see, they, they pretty much do everything that you would expect. <laughs> so they work like, a, like any other class. Um, so yeah, the, the strings are very cool, and um, they, they work very well with C++, but I did want to show you, uh, like I said, kind of the behind the scenes of uh, how, how they work um, before I actually introduce you to them. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to talk about today. It's just an introduction to the string class. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.